In the murky shadows of the Turkish War of Independence, a clandestine organization called the Caracol Society operated with stealth and precision. This secret intelligence group, also known as the Black Arm or the Sentinel Association, fought valiantly on the side of the Turkish national movement. Formed in the chilly November of 1918, the organization was a beacon of resistance against the Allied occupation of Constantinople. Their mission was not just of rebellion, but of preservation and establishment of national unity, using legitimate means from behind the scenes. The Society, a continuation of the Committee of Union and Progress Intelligence Agency, was the brainchild of Kara Vasif Bey and Kara Kemal, conceived on the orders of Talat Pasha. The Society had its unique secret password and embodied the spirit of its founders within its name, the Karakol Society, a name that would echo through the annals of Turkish history, was born. November 1918, in the throes of the Allied occupation of Constantinople, the Karakol Society was formed. The birth of this society marked a pivotal moment in history, as it became the first clandestine organization to rise against the occupation. The defeat of the Ottoman Empire in World War I had plunged the region into chaos and uncertainty. Faced with the dismantling of their nation by foreign powers, a group of patriots decided to take matters into their own hands, giving birth to the Caracol Society. This society was more than just a fresh start. It was a continuation of the Committee of Union and Progress Intelligence Agency, the special organization. The majority of its members were drawn from this agency, bringing with them their expertise and deep-seated patriotism. The Caracol Society was built on the foundations of this intelligence agency, but its mission was even more critical, to protect the Turkish nation from the clutches of foreign occupation. The formation of the Caracol Society was orchestrated by two key figures, Kara Vasif Bey and Kara Kemal, on the orders of Talat Pasha, who had fled the country. Their leadership was instrumental in shaping the society's direction and approach. The society's name, Caracol, was chosen as an amalgamation of the founders' names, reflecting their shared vision and commitment. The society's central committee, which included Baha Said Bey, Refik Ismail Bey, Ali Riza Bey, Edip Servet Bey, Kemalatin Sami Bey, and Galatali Sevket Bey, was responsible for outlining the organization's aims. These aims were clear to protect and establish national unity through legitimate means behind the scenes. Revolutionary action was to be taken against oppressors of freedom and justice. The third article of the Society's Declaration of Establishment highlighted its socialist nature, a reflection of its commitment to social justice and equality. And so, under the leadership of Kara Vasif Bey and Kara Kemal, the Karakol Society emerged from the shadows. The birth of this society marked the beginning of a covert struggle for national sovereignty, a struggle that would shape the course of Turkish history. With its central committee in place, the Karakol Society began its operations, all with one aim, protecting and establishing national unity. The society functioned like a well-oiled machine, operating in the shadows, away from the prying eyes of the occupying forces. Its members, a mix of former special organization operatives and new recruits, carried out tasks with precision and dedication, all the while maintaining the highest level of secrecy. The operations of the society were manifold and varied. The Central Committee, made up of seven members, was the heart of the organization. It was responsible for decision-making, planning and overseeing all operations. Each member brought a unique set of skills to the table, creating a formidable force that was ready to face any challenge. The Society's operations were not limited to intelligence gathering alone. It also worked tirelessly to foster national unity. To this end, it used legitimate means to rally the people behind the cause of independence. It worked behind the scenes, influencing key figures and organizations, and subtly steering public opinion towards nationalism. When it came to oppressors of freedom and justice, the society was not afraid to take revolutionary action. It was this readiness to act that made it a force to be reckoned with, a force that the occupying armies found difficult to pin down. The Society's members were always ready to spring into action, 
to strike at the heart of oppression and to stand up for the principles of freedom and justice. The society was also known for its ingenuity. It adopted a secret password, KG, an amalgamation of the founders' names as a means of communication among its members. This password, simple yet effective, became a symbol of the society's covert operations. Despite its secretive nature, the society was not immune to internal strife. Disagreements and conflicts did arise, but the Central Committee was always quick to resolve them, ensuring that the society remained united in its cause. The society's operations continued unabated even during the tumultuous period of the 1920 Turkish Grand National Assembly election. Despite the decapitation of its leadership in the aftermath of the election, the society remained steadfast in its mission. Its operations continued, albeit with reduced intensity, until its eventual dissolution in 1926. The operations of the Caracol Society were a testament to the resilience and determination of its members. Despite facing immense challenges, they persevered, working tirelessly to protect and establish national unity. Their actions, carried out in the shadows, played a crucial role in the Turkish War of Independence. And thus, the Karakol Society etched its name in the heart of the Turkish War of Independence. But as the wheel of time turned, the Karakol Society found itself facing its own downfall. The year was 1920. The Turkish Grand National Assembly election was in full swing. It was a time of great upheaval and change, and the Karakol Society found itself in the thick of it. Its leadership, once strong and united, was decapitated in the aftermath of the elections. The society, which had once stood as a beacon of hope for the Turkish national movement, found itself in a precarious situation. The leaders who had guided them, who had fought alongside them, were no longer there to steer the ship. The society was rudderless, adrift in a sea of uncertainty. As the years rolled on, the society struggled to maintain its relevance. The world around it was changing rapidly, and the society found itself unable to keep up. Despite their best efforts, the society was slowly but surely losing its grip on the very cause it had fought so hard to uphold. By 1926, the Caracol Society was a shadow of its former self. The society that had once stood strong against the Allied occupation of Constantinople, that had been the first clandestine organization to rise against the oppressors, was no more. It had refused to merge with the Association for the Defense of the Rights of Anatolia and Rumelia under Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. And now, it stood alone, a relic of a bygone era. The dissolution of the Caracol Society was a gradual process, one that took place over several years. It was not a sudden event, but a slow fading away, a dissolution into the annals of history. The Society had fought hard, had stood strong in the face of adversity, but in the end, it could not withstand the tides of change. In the end, the Caracol Society dissolved into the pages of history, leaving behind a legacy of resilience and revolution. Despite its downfall, the Society's spirit lives on, a testament to the power of unity, determination, and the indomitable will of the people. Though it dissolved, the Karakol Society left behind a legacy that still resonates within the annals of Turkish history. This clandestine organization operating in the shadows played a pivotal role during the Turkish War of Independence, standing as a beacon of resistance against the Allied occupation of Constantinople. Born from the ashes of the Committee of Union and Progress Intelligence Agency, the special organization, the Karakol Society, was the first secret society to fight against foreign occupation. Its founders, Kara Vasif Bey and Kara Kemal, were entrusted with this task by Talat Pasha, a prominent figure who fled the country shortly after its inception. The society was a fusion of the founders' names, and a secret password, KG, was adopted to maintain its clandestine nature. The society's central committee, which included prominent figures like Baha Said Bey, Refik Ismail Bey, and Ali Riza Bey, was dedicated to protecting and establishing national unity using legitimate means behind the scenes. A revolutionary action was to be taken against oppressors of freedom and justice, underlining the society's socialist nature. However, 
The society faced a downfall following the Turkish Grand National Assembly election in 1920. Its leadership was decapitated, leading to its eventual dissolution in 1926. Despite this, the Karakol Society's spirit lived on, influencing future generations and shaping the course of Turkish history. The society's legacy is evident in its contribution to the Turkish War of Independence. Its intelligence operations, secret missions and unyielding commitment to national unity were instrumental in the fight against the Allied occupation. The society's resilience in the face of adversity, their revolutionary spirit and their unwavering dedication to their cause left an indelible mark on the history of Turkey. Today, the Karakol Society serves as a symbol of the Turkish people's determination to protect their freedom and independence. It is a testament to their tenacity and spirit, a reminder of their struggle and an inspiration for future generations. And so the tale of the Karakol Society, a clandestine organization that once operated in the shadows, remains a testament to the spirit of revolution and resilience.